Hebrews chapter 4, verse 14 through chapter 5, verse 4. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has ascended into heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith that we profess. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weakness, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Every high priest is selected from among the people and is appointed to represent the people in matters related to God, to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal gently with those who are ignorant and are going astray, since he himself is subject to weakness. This is why he has to offer sacrifices for his own sins, as well as for the sins of the people. And no one takes this honor on himself, but he receives it when called by God, just as Aaron was. In the same way, Christ did not take on himself the glory of becoming a high priest, but God said to him, You are my son. Today I have become your father. A prayer by Martin Luther. Oh, that we were as eager to pray as you are to hear. Dearest Lord, Oh, that we were just as eager to pray, even with the most meager size of the heart, as you are eager to urge, invite, command, and compel us to pray. Oh, we are lazy and unthankful. Forgive us for this, dearest Lord, and strengthen our faith. Amen.